Now battling the Mahagat Bandhan onslaught in Uttar Pradesh, the BJP is banking on disunity among the opposition. In 2014, riding high on the Modi wave, the party had won all of the 13 seats that are voting today. It aims to in fact repeat its stellar performance. PM Modi is seeking a second consecutive term from Varanasi. The opposition has failed to get a prominent face to field against Modi. As for the BSP-SP alliance, it seems to have selected candidates on the basis of social equations. However, it has failed to get a prominent face against PM Modi in Varanasi. Now, Congress too has walked away from straight battle with the Prime Minister when it chose not to feed its East UP in charge Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. Speaking of the Congress party, it has either fielded uh, rebels from SP and BSP or has put up candidates who are strong enough to play spoil sport for the Mahagat Bandhan. But it's not just the Congress that has fielded direct. In fact, these defectors in Gorakhpur, BJP candidate Ravi Kisan, a Bhojpuri film star, had uh, contested the 2014 elections on a Congress ticket from Jaunpur. Remember, in uh, 2014, the Modi wave had wiped away the caste differences and got the BJP votes from virtually the entire caste spectrum in the state. Even Yadavs, who traditionally vote for BSP, were carried away by the Modi magic. However, this time, Modi and his party are contending with a consolidated Yadav Muslim unity, which arithmetically is stronger than BJP's traditional vote bank. The only, in fact, a saving factor for the BJP will be the non-Yadav OBC and the SC vote. Well, we are getting some uh, visuals there of uh, UPCM Yogi Adityanath, in fact, there casting his vote. Remember that uh, Uttar Pradesh is going to polls. Some seats in Uttar Pradesh are going to uh, polls. And, of course, Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh is the key battle there where we have a fight between uh, the Prime Minister versus Ajay Rai of Congress and Shalini Yadav of the SP-BSP alliance.